hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chop for back on the nerve. Have you all seen those primitive building gigantic pools in their backyard? It's not actually their backyard because they probably don't own the land. Yes, you have, because I have, and I don't know why I've seen those videos. Anyway, this is how the building videos are staged by Sunny V2. Let's see it. I I mean I know they are staged. My dad told me he was in construction. He was like, yo, no way a person builds this, right? Let's see how they do it. Almost every single primitive uh, building channel like is underpinned by countless different lies, and we've got tons of evidence to prove it. Tons of evidence? You know now, we need to put an emphasis on the fact cool. that this is most primitive building channels, and certainly not all of them. After sifting through forum post upon forum post about the ways in which these primitive builders lie, I'm in order willing to sell my kidney if it's not fake, said the dude. Hey, don't do that. There's gonna be that one crazy dude that has no job. He eats from like a banana peel a day. And is making gigantic pools in the jungle, brother. You're gonna lose a kidney. A kidney is worth a lot of money nowadays. Does it generate sometimes up to 500 million views per video? Holy. Users continue to mention one name over and over, That's crediting him as people. legitimate amongst the sea of phonies. Primitive technology. The 10.4 million subscriber channel, which is run by an Australian named John Plant, basically invented John the Plant. primitive construction genre, all the way down to the sound design of silence mixed with rainforest noises, with primitive technology even stating in a Reddit AMA that originally it was out of laziness in not putting narration in the videos, but then the silent format became popular. Oh. So I kept it that way. When going back to the beginning of these silent relaxing I mean, videos. To be honest, that looks feasible. Like that looks actually doable. Then you see some motherfuckers over there building like a pool the size of my apartment building. It becomes pretty Sorry, obvious brother. as to why they're credited as seeming pretty legit in terms of authenticity. Primitive technology cuts no corners in showing how each stage of the construction is completed legitimately. For example, when examining his very first it's video, he shows the axe head being sharpened, a log then being cut by the axe, then the logs being crafted together in a way that feels realistic. All of this is accompanied by specific captions explaining what's going on in that very moment, alongside a full description of the build, all the way down to how long the construction process took. Nine months? Oh, brother. Never include swimming pools or anything over the top, yet feel impressive as they seem to be on the cutting edge of what is and isn't possible to build by hand. The legitimacy of some of his more impressive builds, such as this brick hut, can be supported by YouTube comments such as this one, which stated, I actually know John personally. He was a really good friend. We live in the same town, although I haven't seen him since he went viral. I have fond memories of him telling us that he was building huts out bush and had no idea they were so legit <laughs> before going on to credit him as a pretty authentic guy from a personal relationship standpoint. All of this is incredibly Okay, story time. Back when I was little, so oh, iso isolation, whatever, you do, when you keep the, uh, the, the elements, heat and coldness out, you know what we used to use on my village when I was small? They used to use uh, animal poop and smear it on the walls with some other stuff. And it actually worked. Like, that's what the walls were, you know, covered in. And it didn't smell. I don't know what, how exactly it happened, but that's what we used to do when I was little important so, to understand as primitive yeah, technologies video shit. set a baseline for what Actual should shit. and shouldn't be achievable <laughs> in a natural setting additionally primitive Jeez. technology has been kind enough to provide us with a statement which will be referred to as we look at the channels on the statement. other end of the spectrum also known as the fakers what did the they, fundamental what they made a truck. The problem with the genre is that with so much time between camera cuts, there's plenty of time to set things what up legitimately. And with what? Primitive Technology's very first video receiving over 44,000 Reddit upvotes and 30 million views, it's Damn. no surprise that copycats with less intelligence okay, began some to of pop these. up. Look at this. Right Look at this. Look On these better. channels, the buildings were taller, the slides yeah, were just... longer, and the water was suspiciously more blue. And it's a weird huh. blue color. Why is it so blue? Probably because it's probably still dying or something. There's no reason Wait, for it's it to not look supposed so to be blue like even more interestingly, almost all of these channels range from the exact same area, being Cambodia, Thailand, or Vietnam, yet often geotag the United States, claim to be living in the United States, and have their social blade country set to the United States. The overall production and build quality on these channels is arguably far more impressive than the OG primitive technology, oh, yeah, to the point where wild. you have to ask yourself, are they really creating these structures out of mud Bro, and sticks? Enough. Well, when you do a little bit of research, the answer to this question is most certainly no. The best <laughs> evidence for this is found when looking at a 5 million subscriber channel called Primitive Technology Idea, okay. whose failure to cover up the ways in which they fake their videos. It took me three hours to sharpen the axe blade. To make oh, them almost pain, comical brother. to watch. Take for example this episode titled Building Underground Water Maze Crocodile to the Secret Underground House Rock and Swimming Pool, in which the first shot shows two men digging on the surface, then in the next frame they're in okay. an Okay, listen, I don't know what the soil is in Vietnam or Cam 
food or whatever those other places but I have dug here in Bulgaria and once you hit that soil that has like some rock in it it becomes pain uh, with a shovel I was using a shovel I was using the other thing that you hit the soil so it breaks apart so you can actually shovel it bro digging is a pain Foot this dude's trench. using his hands. Now, if they're digging this deep with sticks, how are and they sticks. avoiding large rocks and potential tree roots yeah, from, you know, insane. the massive line of trees seen just behind them? Are they being assisted by large machinery? Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Probably, but first, right? let's focus on the idea that it's only two people doing these impressively large primitive construction projects. If that's what kick? they were attempting to portray, it probably would have been best not to include the clip where a guy in a white t-shirt can be seen oh. working on the project <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Yet, if it were just these three guys, that still wouldn't be that bad. However, yeah. further evidence suggest that they are far more help than this. Oh, At the start probably. of the week, a community post was made on this channel in the hope that someone who had worked with one of these primitive builders would be oh, willing to share their experience gold. in doing so. We received countless emails which were all super yes. helpful, yet one email stood out as being incredibly unique. That yeah, email he's was got the star, of course. He's incredibly you know, from one special. of the cameramen who works for one of these larger know, South Southeast Asian that. primitive building channels. His name and the channel he works for have both been blurred out, as it'd be a little unfair for him to get in trouble for simply trying to help True. out. But the email began by stating, as you may have seen suspected it's not as streamlined as the video would suggest. It is a large operation as you may suspect with a large team of us behind it. After he then offered to answer any questions we had about their channel, we attempted to figure out how many different people will work on the actual construction part of the project from Probably start to finish to which he would respond. It is depending on the scale of the project but no less than one dozen or more What's before dozen? going on to explain that within his team there is a director for the acting done. There is also a hired architect a to obviously make sure the structure will not collapse and will last long enough to film in and obviously afterwards many editors are involved. In case an email from someone who works from one of these primitive builders isn't enough evidence, it's time to introduce a different channel called so Photo right, Expression, who incredibly channel. stumbled upon one of these primitive construction sites before capturing he over did? eight minutes of footage with a drone. We'll refer to different parts of this footage throughout our video, but for now, it can answer the question. I mean, technically, it would be actually pretty easy to find exactly where they are, right? Nowadays, you can just put a picture online and it's pretty easy to find the exact coordinates so. of how many people are really working on these sites. This. There's initially a clip where eight different workers can be seen standing around a rectangular hole in the jungle, followed by another grainier clip from a far distance, where somewhere between seven and ten people can be seen building a swimming pool. If That's they were honest about how many still. people were working on each project, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it should be noted that some of these videos specifically state in the description that I've been working hard with my two friends about a hundred days to completely days. build, when in okay, reality it's brother. a whole team working for only three to 10 days depending on the project as mentioned in the email response from the cameraman so if they're being untruthful Wait. They do this whole thing in 10 days, that's, that's, that, hey, I'll be honest with you, that's kind of crazy impressive. All about the time period as well as how many people are working on each project, what else are they lying about? Well, how about the incredible fire pits that they seem to create effortlessly? Going back to the statement made to us by Primitive Technology, he seemed to imply that maybe the fire making in their videos was fake. It's hardly surprising that he brought this up, as when you compare his meticulous method of creating fire in the wild to the fire making of these Southeast Asian primitive channels, as mentioned previously, it becomes comical. Ah, they're not showing it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. They slap a couple of rocks together before beginning an explosive fire on large logs with no kindling whatsoever. <laughs> John went on to state that if they're faked simpler things then they're most certainly faking more complicated ones, which sure. turns out to be true, as when looking at another video by Primitive Technology Idea, it becomes obvious that not only are these guys faking simple things such as fire, these guys are also faking the most labor intensive exercise of all, the digging, digging process itself. This video with over 63 million views begins as most do. A shirtless guy draws a big circle and begins to it out. Why do we show the next frame? Suddenly, there's spray paint on the ground that they forgot to rub out. Additionally, on the wall of the hole, these long, smooth cuts can be seen, which are completely incomparable to. You know what would be the most unbelievable thing about this now that I think about it? Is how these dudes are always shirtless and not wearing any pants and they have no scratches on them. Like, hey, let's be honest, if you work in an environment where you work with your hands and like such small clips and shit, you get a shit ton of scratches on you, okay? That's a fact. This dude has zero scratches on him. To the cuts being That's made crazy. by the stick. Well, there's a reason for this. Turns out spray paint marks weren't the only thing that they forgot to rub out, as in the what? minutes that follow, excavated tracks can be seen here, uh. here, here, and here. In a different video by the same channel, the same person can be seen working very hard digging out a similar hole, which to their credit contains no excavator tracks around it. One mistake they this did time. make, however, was that they forgot to take the actual excavator out of the top right-hand corner. According to the email sent to us by the cameraman on one of these channels, approximately 
70% of the digging is completed Damn. by machinery, whilst 30% is completed by hand, given how much of the work lies in simply digging. But men still do plenty of digging. As you may guess, in small underground spaces, it is impossible to fit a skid steer loader in the hole. Most of the actual construction is done by a high team of specialized builders, from my understanding, and they work with only intrinsic tools. The dirt What's is removed intrinsic? by skid steer loaders and offloaded elsewhere, and skid steer loaders are used in the initial boring process, whilst incrementally we film the builders doing superficial works on the hole. The video in which the excavator can be seen in plain sight, then goes on to strangely display the collection of concrete from a river, which is the exact same concrete. clip reused from the previous video. Uh. Now, why would they reuse the same clip twice in two different videos? Well, it's because well, collecting reason, right? concrete from a river is completely and utterly bogus. Concrete doesn't grow in a river, according to a civil engineer who had commented on one of these <laughs> videos. Earth cement, this is incredibly fake. Cement requires a precise combination of different <laughs> raw materials and then- I can go to the river and get cement? God damn, my dad would be disappointed. Achieves considerable Shit. heat treatment in order to make the powder we all know and love slash hate. <laughs> What's even funnier is that every single one of these channels has their own unique method for creating natural concrete. This channel's concrete is simply a mix of dirt and water, which if you think about it for two seconds, doesn't create concrete and rather creates muddy water or yeah. mud, which is just dirt after the water dries. <laughs> this other channel gets a little bit more creative with it by taking a chunk out of a termite nest, grinding it down into powder, mixing it with water, then concreting an entire pool with this small wow. chunk of termite nest. They made Yet a neither of these compare to the fakest channel of them Damn. all primitive technology life, which decides to just skip the concrete altogether and go with good old rocks and dirt. However, that's not the only suspicious thing about this shot. You'll notice when looking at the bamboo that each branch has a suspiciously clean cut on the end. Compare this to primitive True. technology, the legitimate channel from Australia, who in one video displays what the end of a log should actually look like, and you'll notice pretty quickly that these pieces yeah, of bamboo weren't cut. naturally cut on site. Just, these there are so many little things that if you start to, you know, take them apart, it's kind of crazy. These pieces of bamboo weren't but you either, know which this, as displayed in the video, were attached together then used bit. to siphon water from a river to the pool. Only there was no river. Photo Expression found the exact site of this pool, then stated in his video that in reality, the closest water source was more than six, six kilometers, kilometers away. Instead, he found a bunch Oof. of blue plastic piping attached to a tap in the ground. Going back to the email from the cameraman, the water for their well, channel focus. just comes in cubic containers that is transported there. A very funny part is any scene where you see them sourcing knowledge. water from some magnificent waterfall or lake, they're actually going somewhere perhaps hundreds of kilometers away and pretending to take it back. The video in which Photo Expression had stumbled upon various completed primitive builds also showed that after these channels are finished building, the sites are simply left to rot. This video doesn't speak for Wait, every Southeast Asian primitive it? building channel, but in this particular case, rubbish was left everywhere, including, oh, as you might guess, on, cement brother. bags. The fact that the videos are fake isn't the most concerning. It's the destruction of the land. Wait, I imagine it's also illegal for them to just construct them they must own the land and I doubt they would own the land and just leave it like that, right? That's concerning. Now, if this was public rainforest, you could probably consider this a pretty big deal. But according to the cameraman's email, at least on their channel, every build is done on privately private owned land, land, which is leased for the purposes of the video. If this is the case, maybe photo expression is in the wrong for snooping around and filming on someone else's property. <laughs> We're kidding, of course, but if the builds are being completed on privately owned land, it's a little narcissistic to comment on what they should and shouldn't do with it. Bro. Primitive Technology, the original legitimate Australian channel, put it best in his email to us when he said, my advice to people who really want to know if the techniques on display are legitimate is to put them into practice and see. If you can follow the steps and get a similar result, then it's probably- Just go bash rock for like three hours. Hey, come on, nobody wants to do that, brother. That's why I'm watching the videos. He added that these corner cutting <laughs> channels are motivated by money and status alone, rather than a true interest in primitive technology. But wanting to stay out of internet drama, we'll leave it up to the discerning viewer to decide what's real Wait, and come what's not. Like that. You're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna point fingers, be like, this motherfucker did it. Come on, bro, I wanted to see the pointing fingers part. Okay, okay, that's good. Hey, we'll watch that one. How many can we can say that? Okay, let me know. Have y'all watched any of these channels before? What did y'all think about them? I've watched like two or three videos. I don't remember the channels from, but yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll see y'all next time. Quick thank you to YouTube members and patrons. Thank y'all for the support. Bye, everybody.